watch it all summer. You know, tons of velvet pictures. Uh, tons of pictures all year. He's way over on the other side of the field right now. And I don't think, I don't think I have a chance of killing him tonight. But it just kind of sucks. Um, he's super visible right now. And uh, uh, we saw him the other night from the truck. We're seeing him here again. Um, I just hope he stays put, stays where he's at. Um, not a ton of gun hunting pressure around the neighborhood, but there are some guys that do some gun hunting, so I don't know. I just hope he stays put. Um, I would love to see him get to next year, uh, so we'll see. So it's the day after second shotgun season, and, uh, you know, always concerned which, uh, which men didn't make it out of the weekend. And uh, normally there's always one or two, and sad to hear today that one of the neighbors did take that wide six by five that uh, was a real local. He must have got a whiff of some hot, must have got a whiff of something hot over there, uh, doe being in heat, and uh, he was all over my standing corn. Uh, we had seen him traveled several times coming back from hunting, uh, figured he was safe where he was, and um, and uh, saw him the night before even, and. Uh, uh, out checking the camera. He was there the day that he got shot even. Um, he was over at my place in the morning. So um, somewhere along the line, he found that doe in there and got comfortable with her. And uh, that's the end of him. That's what happens when you go to the neighbors, I guess, you get shot. But uh, he was a great buck and um, can't wait to see what moves in and takes his place.